Hello everybody, my name is Kristen Colonial guys, and today I'm back with a brand new game of this brand new series called Call of War, guys. And basically, this is called Rush for Europe. Basically, we have to take over Europe and all of the world. Now, I'm playing as the United Kingdom, and as you can see, I got my ass whooped a bit by, uh, Sajamans, but then the, uh, good old Stockholm, also known as Sweden, over there. Um, freaking crushed through Germany is now is helping me out. I own Paris, though, so I own Paris, and this is all my fleet. So I moved all my navy down to Spain so I can take over Spain, but then fucking Jerry's went over here and kind of killed me. Mm. Yeah. Over here. Let's uh, start branching out and start taking these areas. Now, over here, this guy. He, must, he can probably take out this whole area. This guy. Let's, uh, that's good. And then I have these guys, my other attacking force. Now, these are, these are like my main attack force. Now. This is my, they're my whole army. My navy is the hugest thing in my whole battalion. I have the fucking biggest ass navy you can think of. Alright? I have one of the largest naval powers in the whole European conquest at the moment. Which is good if you had stuff. Now, I have, of course. I have, I think, how many, uh, I have, in here, now here we have, if I'm correct, we have about, we have three battleships, one cruiser, and one submarine. And we have tons of submarines across the border here, just in case any Americans get any big ideas, especially if they were to take that area over there. Now, I'm also thinking of taking out Iceland, because... It's extra territory, plus it gives me straight territory into this whole area. And of course, over here I can then take uh, Greenland, and then I can go over through here and we start taking over that area. That'll be a huge naval conquest, but first I want to take out all of Europe and, make, and have some allies with these guys, which I already am. So we're going to go into diplomacy, you guys, and we're going to go into coalitions. So Germany and I, Germany and I, we were like, yeah, we're allies. <laughs> this fucking titty ass should happen. So yeah. Now I know we're also friends with Bucharest, which is good. So we're just gonna fucking wipe out Germany. So yeah. Now they took my aircraft base in Brussels, and uh, and then they got back for me. So thank God for that. Now Manchester, I uh, was my major fleet area. So is this. This is where most of my troops were made. Um, Gl Glasgow. And Plymouth were my ship docks, and London was mostly like my airplane area where I can just go, you know, attack. So, yeah. But, like, for some reason, they do not have Pot Calais here, nor do they have Normandy, which is kind of weird, in my opinion. But, yeah. Free capacity, two. Two airplanes on this. So, I see a lot more than fucking two airplanes on this, but whatever, whatever. So, yeah. This wonderful naval fleet. Now these guys are gonna come in and just fucking tear up England. We're gonna get it back. I can assure you, I don't think they really want this. The English people don't want to be attacked by the Germans again. The old city habits back in 1942. Me too. I, I can't do this. All right. So we are losing food. We're not losing anything else but food. Food and ally. We are losing fucking badly. Most because our food protection was Plymouth, and Plymouth is now taken, which is not good. So yeah, once again, I'm playing. This is gonna be a Rush for Europe seri series because Rush for Europe is so much fucking easier. And you're like, well, why is it easier, Dean? Because one reason, and that reason is everything's faster. Now this game is real time, so if it, so basically, if it would take a day to create a battleship, it's gonna take a day in this game. So it's gonna be a very slow series, but I like it. So yeah, basically I'm just sitting here where you have to catch another province. And let's go over here and get some out. Is that a? That's my Sherman tank right there in all the glory. So, uh, I have a tank story, a Sherman tank. I have one light tank. I have three infantrymen, and I have one armored car. A really bad force. And then if we go over here, we have the awesome, the one, the only, the myth, the legend. Five white tanks, four unit troops, one motorized infantry, two tank destroyers, and three motorized cars. But I like these guys, because they're like, this is, these two are my main forces, 
And then this, the, so these two are my biggest forces. This guy with the 12 soldiers, medium tank, anti-aircraft, seven unit, uh, unit troops, and three light tanks. They're my main force, and then comes this guy, he's coming in like boom, boom, boom. can't take my country. So yeah, it's fun. So also, we cannot spend any money on research because we are literally losing so much. I only have to go buy more food now. I have 77k in the bango, which is really freaking good, so let's buy some food. Except that trade, of course. We, we need to get food up, guys. If we don't have food, we can't fight a fucking war. We already know that. Come on. Don't be an idiot. Can't fight a war without food. The offers of room of ally are gone because I already spent all my money on ally because I need ally. No, of course, we are still getting food from this area, but not enough, as you can probably tell. See ya. So yeah, we have our aircraft carriers, we have the biggest fleet probably you can probably think of. Oh no, we'll stop. So in this fleet we have two battleships, two submarines, three, three the, the cruiser, three destroyers, three cruisers, two cruisers, you know, so you have two, three battleships, two cruisers, three destroyers, and two submarines. Pretty good. Oh. These submarines are freaking awesome. So this actually tells you submarines sneak up on their targets and engage. Boom! And they fire huge blows to the enemy. Now, I am just enjoying this because it's an awesome, fun, nostalgic game. And I am part of their coalition. Hopefully, at some point, I want really want to join their coalition. Now, I want. What I want to look at, look up is uh, European expansion. Let's see, in coalitions, of course, of course. No, all right. I don't know here, so I. European expansion. No, I want to apply at some point because I want you to just get in there and be like, "Yeah, I'm in here." What you gotta do about it. And Sweden is probably the biggest conqueror. And once my plan is to take over all of Spain, and I'll be just golden. Spain is gonna be a really easy force to take out. Let's be honest here. It's freaking Spain. What can they do? I said I know the program would freaking beat my ass, but whatever. This whole naval fleet will just be decimated. Now the point is over here, guys. I'm moving these ships over here so I can just go, hey, guess what? Move here. And then we're gonna go, hey, guess what? We are going to. How do I add army? So I can do that on my phone later, right? It just adds the armies together, and every single thing is called an army. Like, once everything is called an army, guys, which means, yeah. So, you're gonna add an army. I'll see you next one, guys, and I'll be back with you when we have any updates. Hello, everybody. My name is Chris Coin here, guys, and today I'm back with more... Call of War, also known as... I'm sitting here because I have nothing else to do, and yeah. Let's start taking back our country. So guys, we got invaded by Germany, and then Germany got murdered by Sweden. So then now I'm here, taking back Germany. Now, I know what's in this regiment. It's 10 troops, so this is 15 troops. Now this guy over here is dying. Chances are this ain't gonna survive. And over here, these guys, they're gonna survive. Alright, okay, okay. Now guys, this army over here, in the navy, Fucking awesome. Moving cruisers, aircraft carriers over there. Then, guys, we're gonna put you piece these two together, right? We're gonna piece these two together. Then, we're gonna merge the whole thing. The biggest thing we ever think of. 
Actually, no. I'm gonna just piece these two together so we can have a better horse. But yeah. I realize I have no airplane factories at all, which is a problem since we're only trying to take off. Ooh, we're gonna spend seven minutes to start building this beautiful ass fucking airstrip. So we can hopefully get some more shit done. Now we built. Now officially we have our Plymouth, Dublin, and Glasgow. Now all. I mean, Glasgow. Now all have their um, water thing again. Now London as well. I could probably build one there too, but I don't wanna like over navy myself. You know what? My navy is pretty freaking top tip shape. No. We, no guys, I don't know if you guys realize this, but us as people, there's a thing called secret in this game, and secret weapons and stuff, we have the rocket gun, the rocket, and the rocket fighter. So a fighter jet. Just you could fucking think, I am all about. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try building one. Of course, that's after I build, there's a Neville of Ephes, there's a Neville Warfers. No, I'm kidding, it, 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 just so you know, the, the, the Neville Warfer, it was versus the Neville's. officially lost Manchester, which is sad. Now, the morale is BS, but when they started getting us back, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we're back in Britain's hands, so the morale went up. Everyone's like, I'm a boomer at the stuff, I'm like, I'm not, man, I've been fucking doing this shit for like my whole life. Sell it all. Oh, buying goods? No, no, no. I don't want to buy goods. I want to sell goods. I do want to buy this. I only. I don't have any money. Now this is what I'm gonna do. This guy is. We'll watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I have so many rare materials. So, no money. I also have a bullshit amount of. <laughs> but goods, I cannot sell. Farming materials, I guess I can sell a little bit of that because, like, you know. So yeah, we are broke, we can't do anything about it, and now we're fighting an invisible enemy because I have no idea who the fuck's over there. Anyways, we're taking back Britain, and we own now apparently, apparently Luxembourg got its country back, which is stupid. So... for the German Empire. But then Luxembourg is just here. I don't know. I mean, is Luxembourg just like its state is a country? And if so, that's fucking great. <laughs> you, get, you see what I'm going on here? Messages and trades. Who, who needs me? This apply you wait two hours. Damn it. Like I said guys, we're just waiting a couple minutes guys for everything to you know set up. And uh yeah. Like I said guys, it's gonna be a very slow paced game, so please stick with me for this guys. But I do it on Paris. And Paris is pretty good. So yeah. And I want Luxembourg because it gives me some like like Amsterdam, I want that. Bruxelles, I want not. Here, they're already invading their soldiers, but I really want to take some. I, I, I like. I'm actually gonna contact Spain right now. And be like, hey, can I have Portugal? I just want to know. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Don't have fucking Spain. I want Portugal. Like it's like, the whole thing of Portugal is just bunkers after bunker after bunker after bunker after bunker after bunker. After bunker. France is fucking France. This defense are bullshit, and so are these apparently because he only has got one bunker. Yeah. So basically, now over here, I understand this place is hard to tank as well because I built fortifications across this whole sea border. And there are troops everywhere in this area too, so I don't understand how they took them. There's a good amount of fucking troops in there. So, I believe I'm correct. 
Oh, air, uh, yeah, the airship should be almost done, right? Yeah. The airship was two minutes ago. Who is contacting me? Oh, yeah, he's somehow there. So, yeah, guys, we really cannot do anything right now, guys. So, yeah. Alright, that's all for today's video. I'll probably get back to you later on this tomorrow. If not, please. I, if not, guys, I'm, of course, gonna get back to you. I'll tell you guys about it somewhere. Also, I will be doing some offline gaming on this because obviously, if I used to do this all on the computer, everything would take for fucking ever and I'd definitely lose a war. So, yeah. That's gonna happen. Actually, let's look at. The, can I sell any No, I cannot sell any more materials. Boom, 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 boom. Say so yeah, guys, see ya.